Hello and welcome to Crafts with Cat Dad. Today we are going to learn how to finger weave, also called finger knitting. We will go over the basics today and get into more complicated finger weavings like making hats, scarves, and, and gloves in the future. Tools you will need are your fingers, balls of yarn, probably just one ball. Uh, we're going to be using this one today. Uh, this one is a little bit more complicated. I recommend do it on plain yarn like this first before getting into more complicated, fuzzy, knotted yarns. You're also going to need a clothespin and some scissors. This is your clothespin that way. First thing you're going to do is make a loop. Now you don't want this loop too small or too big. You want it to be able to go over your pointer finger comfortably, like so. Now, to start your finger weaving, you go behind your middle finger, over your ring, around your pinky, under, over, under, over. See, I just bend my finger over. It makes it a little bit more easier. Now, you don't want to go too tight. You want it nice and loose. Not too loose. And you want to go until there's two lanes, lines on each finger. And your ending yarn is behind your pointer and your middle finger. Two lines. It's still nice and loose. So what you're going to do is you're going to pinch and you're going to take the bottom yarn over the top of your fingers. And you're going to scooch the yarn down. You're going to grab your yarn and you're going to go over your pointer, over your ring finger, around the pinky, and over your middle finger. And again, you have your two lines. So you see, if these were nice, tight, you could not move them over. So you want them a little on the loose side. And again, you squish it down. So you'll see it's starting to begin stuff. So you just keep going. Squish down. Weave. Over, scooch down, weave, over, scooch down, weave. That was a little too tight, so I just wiggle my fingers around a little bit. Need it looser. Now you'll see that you're beginning your knitting. Now, if you want to take a break, I recommend getting your clothespin. Now I put a big P on this side, and a small P on this side. This side, I always remember, is my pointer finger, my larger of my, pink, my fingers. The small P is my pinky, because small finger. Now I just go that was that finger. That is that finger. Pull it out. This is your next finger. This is your next finger. Last one. And there you go. It's nice and compact. I sometimes just toss this around a couple times so I don't it doesn't get lost. Just weave it through. So it doesn't tighten up or too loose on you. Now, if you want to put it back on your fingers after you're done with your break, 
de loop. Now remember, P. You see already the P's for your pinkies, but also your palm. So you remember palm up. So I just go from the bottom. This probably wasn't the best yarn. There we go. My next one. Oops. Loops. And loops. Squish it back down and we're all back to where we started. Your loop is still in between. Your loop is still between your pointer and your ring. So there we go. And then you can continue on with your finger weaving. Now, there's two ways you can end this. You can just take them all off, just pile them on top of each other. Carefully do that. Cut your string, loop the string right through, tie a knot, and there, that's one ending. Okay. Or, this is my preferred method, is a pointed method or a skinnier method. I just take my pinky and I loop it around my second. I do my finger weaving like normal. Go over, I grab the bottom two, so that one was connected to the pinky. So now over here, I grab both of them. And over we go, go down, weave again. And then you want to take the next one and you want to take it to your middle finger. And then you get a weave. You take over. Over. And that one was a little on the tight side, so that's why it slipped up. And then you flip it over. And I just knot right there. And that finishes it off a bit nicer. I would have cut and uh, cut the string off and just had a little knot. But there you go. That is your basic of finger weaving. Um, Thank you for joining me on the tutorials of basic finger weaving or finger knitting, as some call it. Um, Hope to see you again soon where we're going to learn how to knit hats, gloves, and infinity scarves. Hope to see you again soon with more crafts from Cat Dad.